there uh, something at the top of your list you want to be better at game two than you were game one? Oh man, I, I, just a lot of little things. You know, I, I don't know if there's one big thing I could I could put my finger on. A um, lot, a lot of little things. You know, I thought uh, overall it was a, it was a clean effort for sure. Um, you know, overall, but but there, there's a lot of little things. You know, and, and a lot of great uh, teachable moments at, at every position that I think uh, guys are taking to heart and and uh, you know are excited about just continuing to. Uh, get better and, and gel together as, as the tw offense of 2023. Specific to the deep ball from uh, Howard to, to um, Senate, uh, DJ Giddens stepped up and for a, uh, picked up a blitz. Have you seen a lot of that from him in camp? Uh, DJ's been tremendous in pass pro, and, and he does a great job of taking away that space, uh, you know, and, and closing that distance and, and getting his face on him. So, uh, physical play and, and and those are the little things that that make those big plays happen and and uh, uh, he did a heck of a job on that one for sure. What do you <clears throat> see from this Troy defense that could be an issue? Uh, they're they're extremely well coached. Um, you know they've shown to to tackle well. You know you don't see a lot of missed tackles that, that turn into bleeding yardage and, and big plays. Um, you know, they got good scheme. Uh, uh, they got obviously a lot of experience and, and uh, uh, have a championship pedigree, you know. So I, mean, I think it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a big challenge for us. Their experience especially applies to the defensive backfield. What have you seen from those guys being able to fly around? Uh, I think they're really aggressive, you know, and I think they have the ability to be aggressive. And I've and, uh, been really impressed with. Uh, you know, a lot of those DBs and their hips and change of direction and, uh, you know, quickness. So it's, uh, you know, we got to make sure that we have great technique, fundamentals, and win and are on time with the football, you know, because I'll make you pay if you're not. Is that running back distribution we saw last week, is that something you can expect every week or is that a game to game thing? You know, a little bit of it's game to game. A little bit of it sometimes will be in the flow, you know, because you don't know. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes you know we'll be we'll be talking about it, and I said, well, you know, Coach Coach Anderson, and I joke, I'm like, you're gonna have to read my mind a little bit because sometimes I don't know where I'm going next or where we're gonna end up going next with uh, different personnel groupings or or turbos or whatever, and and so a little bit of that is just gonna be flow and, and who's in there, but uh, that's the beauty of both of those guys is you know we believe in both of them. It's not like, hey, Trey Sean can only do these plays and DJ can only do these plays. It's like, hey, what you know. We're, uh, I uh, believe in both of them and know they're going to do a heck of a job when they're in there. Is there a chance that Avery looks good enough or has looked good enough that you say forget about the red shirt even if Will's fully healthy? <laughs> uh, you know, it, it, it was a heck of an effort by Avery. Uh, not uh, not all that surprising, you know, uh, uh, for for any of us. Um, but again, it's it, it, was a, it was great to get him out there and get those first live bullets of experience in, in purple. And, uh, you know, again, we're – uh, he's he's ready if if needed, but uh, we'll, we're going to keep carrying on. So, how about the decision to throw the touchdown to Will? <laughs> uh, you know, just kind of came up with field position, first and goal at whatever the nine or, or whatever it was, and uh, and looked good all week, and and uh, you know, just felt like the right time, and guys guys made it happen. So, any update on Keegan and his status for Saturday? Uh, day to day. You know, we'll, we'll kind of see. He's he's made progress, but it's going to be a, probably a game time decision. What's your schedule is Um, uh, you're saying like return yeah. schedule? Um, I feel like we're getting closer. Um, you know, but again, I think that's a little bit week to week as well. You know, he's done a little bit more this week, and I think would be hopefully a little bit ahead of what they were thinking. But um, you know, excited to get him back for sure. Do you like the way Will Howard progressed through reads and threw it around to different parts of the field? Yeah, no, he, uh, I thought overall, you know, he, he really did a nice job. I think, like I said, there's some little things that, you know, working on of even still playing a little faster with his eyes um, at times. And then there's there's times where he will almost try to do too much, you know, uh, here and there. And so just, hey, uh, staying within the constructs of things and, and playing fast, keeping it simple for him too. and and. Uh, but no, he he does a heck of a job and, and really has a 
high level of mastery for what is going on defensively, um, uh, you know, and then obviously what we're trying to do as well. So I'm, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun working with him, and he, he's a heck of a player. Was there anybody that surprised you in week one in that game that, you know, you maybe you knew, but then when they went out and played, you were like, holy crap, he can do that? You know, not really. I mean, for the most part, it's – and we tell our guys all the time, I mean, you practice how you play. And, and you're not going to get have a chance to get out there in the game if you don't uh, show it in practice so that we don't get surprised. Uh, coaches, I don't like surprises. <laughs> you know, so uh, if they haven't done it in, in practice, they're probably not going to have the opportunity in the game. And for the most part, it, it lines up to what, what, what we saw in practice. Was it almost reassuring that the first touchdown <clears throat> catch is by someone that probably wasn't going to start a few days prior? You know, and I'm so happy for Jaden. You know, and uh, uh, he he's he has worked himself and, and earned that opportunity. Uh, he's he's practiced extremely hard the last couple of weeks, and, and I knew he'd have a chance to make some plays, and didn't know it was going to be the first one. But you know, we had talked. Hey, we. We get quarters on that scheme. He's got a legit chance, and and sure enough, it happened. And uh, you know, so it was it was great to see it come to fruition. How eager was Portier to get back in the mix? So happy for TP. I mean, he's uh, uh, just how hard again he's worked to to get himself back right and uh, get him out there playing a, a you know a good number of snaps. I don't I can't remember exactly what the number was, but but a good chunk of snaps and, and did a great job and. I think got better as the game went as he was out there, you know, which is uh, understandable. But uh, very happy for, uh, very was very happy to see that for him.